Leia even made the joke that this is serious business and we can't have Care Bears squeaking during the podcast. And I was like, that's right. It is serious sure, business. Sure, you can. I can't Don't take that out. Don't you forget it. There's no way of taking it out no. in post. There's no way. I can't isolate that particular sound and remove it. It doesn't work that way. You know, you know how hard that would be? We're not professionals. I know. make fart noises with my mouth <laughs> not when i'm talking but right i'm just saying if you ever hear that in the podcast it's probably it's it's my mouth okay okay if you say so i just figured it was legit and supposed to be in there so i just leave that kind of stuff if it sounds like it's supposed to be there i just leave it in if it sounds weird then i oh. take it out okay. or if i think it's I funny know. or if i think it, it makes me do. sound smarter than you i'll leave all that stuff in you know, I yeah, I, yeah. I I definitely I mean, edited it. So. about that. Why is it yeah, that I sound yeah. like such an idiot all the time? Because I know I don't say half the stuff. You just sometimes just cut random words out of my sentence to make me sound illiterate. <laughs> Oddly enough, I don't do that. I like take I out said, a lot of ums. Yeah, I noticed you've been like cutting out certain words from sentences, just random words. Yeah. yeah. Like, how are you doing today, Martin? And it's like, how I'm doing, Martin? That was like, you make me sound like a total redneck, man. A Chinese, like a, a bad Chinese dubbed film redneck. That's that's like, what I'm going for. Bad Chinese film dubbed by redneck. Hey, that's listen exactly listen to Justin. He's an illiterate idiot. So <laughs> he can't talk. Listen to this guy that can't talk. We're doing so this podcast. You, have you read any books lately? Uh, no. Okay, no. that's why we're going with the illiterate. That's right, right there. Read a book. Have you listened to this Audible stuff? Have you tried that? I have. I do like it. Like it if I, I like it. I like it if it's the right like person doing it. Like I, yeah. you know, some are better than others. So do but you subscribe some, to it? No, I did. I had like a uh, a free, free trial. trial, and I got two books, and I was like, I'll just get these two books, and I liked them. You know, I liked the two books. So, mm -hmm. but like I re I listened to one. It was really good because the guy speaking was like really. <laughs> It was really good, but then I listened to one, and it was like, chapter one. <laughs> Hello, this is blah, blah. I'm like, what? Did you, <laughs> did I you listen to this? Come on, come on. There's an episode of Seinfeld where George has to read a book for work, but he he hates reading, so he gets the audio book, but it sounds just like him, and he can't listen to himself read the audio book. So it it's very funny. It's all about the it's all about the intonation. That, is, that, that does sound very funny, actually. Like if it's just if it's like an action book, a sci fi book, it's got to mm -hmm. be good, you know. Yeah, it can't be it can't be stupid, you know. It can't be like boring. It can't be like do do do, monotone, same thing going the entire time. It can't be like that. It's got to be good stuff. Mm -hmm. So, well, I listen to so many podcasts and that sort of thing that. I'm not, I'm kind of interested in the Audible thing, but I'm mm -hmm. not 100% there yet. I'm not even up to free trial time yet, but I yeah. might, I might try it eventually. Sure. I don't if know. you have a book that you're interested in, but you know, a book that you're interested in that they do, I would just go for it. Give it a try. You yeah. Know. Go, but I don't think like, like some of the nerd books you, you read. Yeah. Um, number one, I don't think you're going to find them on there. You know, right. uh, number two, it's going to be really boring. Like it'll, it'll sound worse than you. <laughs> well, read. you, like, you think it'd be really boring. Maybe I'll be listening to it and be like, Oh man, that's quite the statement he just made. Let me back it up so I can listen again. Boop, 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 boop. I don't think so. I think, I don't think you're not going to be like, Oh, this monotone guy, you're going to be asleep, dude. You're going to be asleep. So I don't like, Typically, if it's like a sci-fi book or science fiction or yeah, you know, some some kind of action drama or something like that, yeah. then it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be pretty well done. Yeah. So. So if I listen to some, uh, like Ender's Game, the Ender series, that would probably be good. Yeah, that would probably be pretty good. I would think. Yeah. I'm trying to buy some new chairs, man. <laughs> For the church. Is this like a is this like a headache thing for you? 
or is it is it one of those things that started out hey this is kind of fun and then it turned into uh, i hate this and everything about it and everyone involved with it it's been a headache since the beginning because like people people don't ever get back to you what like sales people yeah man they don't ever get back to you it drives me nuts I'm don't they want to sell chairs I thought so. I've had like three people call me back after out, out of like ten. You know? Really? Because like you can get like those super duper cheap ones where they like fall apart real easily. So I'm trying to get some decent quality, you know? Yeah. And uh, and the the decent quality ones they don't have prices on their websites. Right. So you got to call them all. So I had a couple that didn't want to, didn't even call me back, you know, which made me very mad. So. I found a company I'm working with. Little heart. No, no, it just got me mad. Just want to punch them. So, <laughs> hey, if they don't want to know, forget them. If they don't want my business, then I don't want their chairs. That's kind of that's how right. Felt. Tell those clowns yeah, so, to take but, their chairs and sit on them. Yeah, you sit on your own chairs. Yeah, I, I don't want them. So, we're not sitting no. on your chairs. Uh-uh. We're not going to no. sit on those very plush, like really nice chairs. So, so have you totally, nice chairs. have you totally discounted the beanbag '70s style bead through the doorway idea? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Did well, you, you got know. overruled? Uh, well, you know the whole uh, medical marijuana thing is not really even like in place yet. So, I want to wait until that's. Like okay. firmly going, right. and everybody's already drugged up before I start doing changes like that. You know, gotcha, gotcha. You know, no, you don't want a preemptive strike. If you do a preemptive strike on something <laughs> like that, everybody's going to be like, "This is stupid." Right. But if you know they're all on medical marijuana, they're going to be like, "This is like the greatest idea ever, man." Yeah. So for your chairs, do you guys have like a committee, or do they just tell you get chairs? Yeah, they just tell me get chairs, and then I bring it to the eldership. And I say, this is my suggestion. Yeah. What do you guys think? You know, I, and I, I can usually, I came with like two suggestions, like yeah. at, for one company, one company. I said, these are suggestions. I said, I suggest the second one. Um, but if we want to do this one, it's a little bit cheaper and everything, but they went with the second one. So what about recliners? You guys have recliners? No, no, we don't have recliners. What do you think we are, man? I don't like, know. You, like, you, yeah, you do. You used to go to I our churches. I haven't been there different. in a while. I don't it's know really not that on. different, man. It's basically the same church with a bunch of different people. <laughs> well, that's the way it goes. I mean, you yeah. you cycle through yeah. folks, and you might be the same size, but you, but it's entirely different crowd, except for onesies and twosies that are just stubborn, refuse to go. You're one of those stubborn and refuse like, to go, like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Justin, that pastor Justin, he's just a stubborn old no. hoot ha, whatever. So hoot ha, whatever. That's right. <laughs> hoot ha, whatever. Ooh. If you came, if you were driving down the road and you came upon a bunch of angry protesters in the middle of the road, would you stop the car? Would you try and turn around, or would you slam on the gas? Are they protesting me? No, no, no. You just happen to be there. They're protesting something that's got nothing to do with you. It's whatever. It's do something I know, to do. Do I know what they're protesting? Like, are their signs obvious or are they kind of cryptic? No, the signs, there's people holding signs, but you can't really see them very good. You're not sure what they're what? protesting. Okay. I'm not sure what they're protesting. Yeah, they're just out there. Like, you're driving through Orlando all of a sudden. Are Are they yelling and screaming? Yeah, yeah, but it's unintelligible. It's like, rubble, rubble, rubble. That kind of stuff. They're taking our jobs. Like that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, what are my options? I stop. Your options are stop, turn around, or slam on the gas. I don't know. If it seems like a good time, I might stop and join. Like, take my shirt off and get in the crowd, you know? <laughs> you never that- know when a peaceful protest is going to ch- turn into a once in a lifetime riot. I mean, you never know. Yeah. You got to you got to measure use your opportunity. T- I could use a new TV. That's right. I can hey. use a new TV. Who knows? If your if your car happens to get damaged during a riot, your insurance is going to cover it. So, you could get out, incite the people to flip over your own car, steal a TV and get a new car out of it. True. True. That would be that would be I get that truck I always wanted. 
And then if That's I get right. that truck, then I just floor it. Then I would floor it the next. Then you floor it. Drive okay. All over, right so all Mazda three, uh, you're stopping and enjoying. You ain't making it, it anywhere. I'm not going. I'm not. I might hit. I might like. I get stuck on two people probably with a Mazda <laughs> three. I gotta get a big old truck to make it through a riot, you know. But yeah, you're gonna want to try to incite a riot because you know. Can you imagine that though? Can you imagine that? You know, like. My elders are like sitting there and they got a TV with like a remote and they're like, hey, Justin, we'd like to show you something. <laughs> and there I am. There I am on the screen with no shirt on, screaming. Trying to flip over your own car. Cussing, throwing a, throwing a brick through a window. I'm like, take all the TVs. Take them all. <laughs> oh. You know, they're like, can you explain yourself? Yeah, I got caught up in the moment. I'm so sorry. My bad. It's that mob mentality. They call it that for a reason. Mob mentality. You just get nutty. I would be a horrible looter. I would be like the worst looter ever because I wouldn't go for the like the real easy stuff. Yeah. I'd be like, "Hey man, come over here, help me with this seventy inch TV, okay?" <laughs> I try to get other looters to help me. I'm like, "Does anybody have like a big truck we can put this in? You can get it back to my house." Lift with your legs, friends. Lift with your yeah. legs. Let's go. Yeah, come on. It's curved. The TV. That's right. Wrap your T-shirt around your head. That's key. <laughs> and, and right, like take your shirt off and tie it around your forehead. So uh, what are you what are you doing? Are you driving through the people? Are you stopping? Or are you turning around and avoiding it altogether? No, I'm not, I'm just gonna avoid it altogether. What do you What do you expect me to get out and be like try to talk some sense into them? No, this yeah. isn't the way to do it. You guys gotta you guys gotta love each other. No, no getting I'm out of your car at a protest is like. And one of these po- protests in the street, that's like not even optional. You never no. get out of your car. Never get out of your car. Because you you're around. either going to join the riot, you're either going to join it when it becomes a riot, or you're going to get savagely beaten as it becomes yeah. a riot. Yeah, so my, you won't get my, out of your car. My job, my my goal would be to join the riot, yeah. but, you know, hey, I don't have a whole lot of experience in riots, so I don't know how good I'd be at <laughs> So you're, you're like tapping guys <laughs> on the shoulder. It's like, hey, um... Is this the riot? <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Part of, Part of me. Is this the riot here? It's my first riot. I'm not sure when exactly start? when the looting begins. Are we going to start looting now? Or are we going to loot a little bit later? Is anyone going to give like a speech? Um, Is that a part of a riot? I'm not sure. I just want to know because I had a pretty big dinner and I want to <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm close to a bathroom. <laughs> Everybody knows that you can't riot. Until at least a good hour after you've eaten. Otherwise, you're going to yeah, get cramps. Yeah. It's not well, good. You can't, listen, you can't ride on an empty stomach. And you got to yeah. at least wait an hour, 30 yes. minutes to an hour before you riot. So it's got to be that, you know, you just got to be yeah. really careful. And if you, you do ride that sweet spot. Sooner. Right sweet spot. Yeah, that sweet spot. If you, you riot too soon, it could be a big, you get cramps. You're going you're gonna to go ahead. You're not going to be able to steal as many TVs or VCRs <laughs> as you want. <laughs> I love that you're stealing VCRs. I, well, because when I think of looters, I think of like back in like the 80s and everything like yeah, that. Yeah. You're like stealing. Oh, he's running out with two VCRs under. And I'm sitting there going, why do you need two VCRs, man? Get a well, VCR and a TV. Come on, you, think it. You need two VCRs so that one VCR plays the tape that you rented from the Blockbuster. And the other VCR is recording what's playing on the other tape. That's why you need two VCRs. So you can pirate videos from the Blockbuster. Good call. I was thinking, I was thinking it's like, it's like that strategy for like, if like someone tries to take your VCR, you drop one, you keep running, you still got it. That could work too. Yeah. yeah They'll be not distracted. be bad as looting. This is a good question. What are the go-to items for looting nowadays? I would go with um, the cellular phone. It's I'm going small, with, high resale yeah. value, easy to carry. You can put a bunch of them in your pocket iPads, I go with iPads. Like anything Apple, I would go with. Yeah. So I'm not going to go with like a tower. <laughs> when when the big, riot like, starts, you're running straight for the for the Apple store. You're going to go. Yeah, man. You're going to go beat up a or genius a best, and take some iPhones. A Best Buy or a Best Buy, you know. Yeah. Yeah, of course. That That's, makes sense. Like to go for those kind of things. Nothing. You don't need anything too bulky, and you know, nah. you want to get some things that are easy to carry. You can fit a couple in your pocket and still have. Still have the uh, the the dexterity to throw bricks, yeah, right? and flip cars and, and make and multiple cocktails. cocktails. Yeah, <laughs> I really want to do like a science project 
where I make a Molotov cocktail and throw it. I think that would be really fun. Have you ever I kind of feel like that's a waste of booze. Uh, you know, I don't... No, 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 no. You you drink the booze and you use gasoline for oh, you do? cocktail. That's what you do? Gasoline. Oh. I would. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm gonna get hurt with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, is that what the is that what a, is maltive maltive cocktails? Malt wait, maltive maltive, like a malt liquor cocktail. Molotov. Molotov. No, no, malt, malt liquor like cocktail. A, now you're talking about something a, different. Put, take now a you're bottle of some Mad Dog 2020 <laughs> with something else. Some old English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, put a, you put a rag in and get there. How would that like? How would that work? I don't think that would really catch fire. It's like the worst. Um, <laughs> some from a, they just leave because it smells yeah, like, so bad. Uh, malt, like, like, oh. Using malt liquor. Oh. I mean, it comes in that handy Nasty. carrying. Oh. It comes in that handy carrying bottle. So mm, that's like a multi. So you're putting <laughs> gasoline in the bottle and then a rag in it and then you light it on fire. Yeah. And then you throw it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. And that way it breaks. So it breaks, then <laughs> fireball. fireball. But can it blow up in your hand? Yeah. It sure All right, can. Well, that's, that's something you got to be that's careful about. Part. And that's why you don't want to be... And that right there, folks, is why you don't want to be loaded down with bulky items um, in your loitering exploits. Right. Because right. you might, you might have, have to run. run and you might catch yourself on fire. You got to be able to throw that. And I'm thinking you don't want to throw like like a mold of cocktail like overhand like this you kind of want to do like a an arch like a like you're throwing a like um like a hook shot almost right pretty sure i've seen that in movies <laughs> i honestly have well, no i don't want to keep it i don't, don't want to get it too close to my face what if i catch my hair on fire yeah you don't want to flick it either because then some of the fluid's going to come out of my catch well, if you get yourself on fire, fire dude everywhere that's yeah not you don't want to do that crap that's why it's so dangerous. I might, I might, I might not, I might not loot. I might just stay home. <laughs> like you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm gonna skip all the looting because stealing was never really my thing. I'm kind of nervous about setting myself on fire with Molotov cocktail, rolling over a car. Well, it seems like a good idea. From that. Probably gonna throw you your back out. You gotta yeah. get surgery for that, man. <laughs> so a lot of, a lot of. A lot of <laughs> And all that Obamacare is going to be gone, so you ain't going to be able to get so that. So we got a lot of pros. Are, are, are we getting any looting? Are we getting looting, too? Or where are we getting the looting at? Who, me? Yeah, we get... No, we don't loot here in Georgia. No, no. I'm not... Because we not, shoot... We, we shoot them. We shoot loot, loiters. Looters? Yeah. Wait, looters or loiters? Yeah. And Wait, loitering and looting is two different things, right? Yeah, two different things. If I was in Florida, I would not loot. Because human. Florida has the highest number of concealed carry permits as any other state. Amen. They got like over Amen. a million. So you never know which one of these little old ladies is uh, packing wh heat. Which one? You don't know. You mean all of them. <laughs> there ain't no question about which one. My guess would be, yeah. Yeah. yeah Chances are many all of them. Uh, hey. So they can't. <laughs> hey. Hey, you want to hear something funny? So they can't yeah. see. <laughs> Real quick, kind of real quick guns. side note, then we'll get back to the loitering, okay? But this lady says, okay, at the gun yeah. club tonight, lady said, she goes, <laughs> if I shoot somebody, do I have to help them afterwards? I was like, no. <laughs> what kind of question is that? And it was like, we had, there was, awesome. a, there was like a, a, an officer, there, special, like a retired officer answering questions tonight. And that lady goes, if I shoot someone, do I have to help him afterwards? And he looked at her and he's like, ma'am, you know, I tell my wife, he, she goes, what? He goes, uh, if someone breaks into our house and you have to shoot him, you enter the, you empty the entire magazine. He goes, that's what I tell her. And I go, yeah, you know, just keep just pulling keep the trigger. Pulling the trigger, trigger until, until and so she was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, seriously? Someone slap her husband for not telling her that. Come on. I don't think oh, that... Someone, call 911. I shot an intruder. Yeah, call 911, but not for the intruder. So it was a home invasion scenario yeah. she was talking about? I don't think she was talking about, I'm out on the street and just decided to shoot somebody. Man, you kind of want to call 911 then. Yeah. It was in Estero, Florida, down where my brother lives, where a cop was in an altercation with a suspect, 
and a and an armed civilian came up and shot and killed him. Killed, killed him. him. Yeah. The author's yeah. like, shoot him, yeah. shoot him. Okay. So, all right. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard that tonight. How many times are you going to be in a situation in your life where the cops telling you to shoot somebody? Not very often. You got to you got to you got to embrace the opportunities as they seize, come around. Seize the opportunities. I feel the same way about riots. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. So back. So there is a riots yeah. shooting people. I mean, if you got an opportunity for these things, jump up. Okay. So is there a lot of loitering going on? Is that the problem? Yeah, lots of loitering. <laughs> That is actually the problem because they're loitering in the yeah, middle of work. Right. Loitering is just when you're hanging around, right? <laughs> Looting, right? Yeah, yeah. Looting. Okay, when those you're are totally stuff, two different things. As like a group, but they're they're kind of related. Well, loitering turns into looting if you let it happen. So I thought because yeah. they get bored, just like just like hand holding eventually turns into making babies, right? Yeah, you ain't lying. That is definitely Amen. a fact. Amen. And it might take a while. But yeah. yeah, that's why I don't hold anybody's hand except my wife's. Yeah, even in prayer circles, like if you're sitting in, you like circle up, hold hands to pray. No, no, I keep them at arm's you distance. Do? At least, the little lady tries to come up, hold your hand, Mister I... Pastor. Will you hold my hand? Come on, my little shaky hand. And you just stiff arm her away. Yeah, here, Grandma. Ain't gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. That's the best when you're when you're visiting her in the hospital, and you, you stiff arm them because they're in the bed too. Toe. So it's essentially you're just slapping you hold this person. Her toe. I can't hold her hand, man. <laughs> hey. Okay, so hey, Gertrude. All right, let's back, get back to the the loitering and looting. Do we got a lot of that going on right now? Like a lot of looting, or is it just protests? Like I don't think that there's a lot of looting. I don't think this stuff is turning into riots just yet. I think people are just out there. Um, Voicing their opinions, whining that they no, they're just whining like a bunch of little sissies. That's that's about my take on it. I didn't get my way, so I'm gonna have a protest. Okay, it is. It Go is their. It is right. their right to do that, Martin. I don't protest. know why you got to be calling them sissies and everything right like ahead. that. Some of them might actually be. Um, because some of them might actually not be sissies. It's it's basic sportsmanship. You don't win. You know what you do? You look the winner in the eye, you shake their hand, and you let them know you're going to get them okay. next time. Basic sportsmanship. That's where you've messed up. Welcome to intermission. You done, you done messed, messed up. up thinking that way. Listen, we live in a world where you get you get trophies yeah. just for signing up, man. So, like everybody thinks they're they're supposed to win all the time, Do even I get even the when trophy? they lose. No, man, you you, you, well, you didn't look. No, you don't. You shouldn't get a trophy. No. Well, I also I don't participate, so I don't even yeah. get a participation. So like all these people that didn't get That's their way, problem. they're like, "We we should have won because we always win." Look, I got this. I got this trophy for when I I did a you know I got runner up, you know fifth runner up in a you know a science fair. <laughs> what? Hey, I played on this softball team, and look at this participation trophy I got. Woo! Yeah, good for you, man. So that's that's why. So, you're like, yeah, they wanted because they didn't win. Of course they because they've been taught they're supposed to win the entire time. Typical millennials. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're saying typical millennials because you ain't that I, far from that. I mean, you might not have got a participation trophy when you grew up, but it was probably somebody four years younger than um, you. Did. Dude, so I I mean, am you ain't that, that far away. I, dude, they were testing. The yeah, I am, man. Not that old. I'm like almost forty, dude. So I'm almost forty. So what? It's not that old. They've been passing out participation. Not when I was growing up. I grew up right here in Florida. Listen, when when you when you didn't do anything special, 
like win or yeah. or so, like improve, all the time like greatly like there were there were a couple awards they gave out they gave out like the most improved player I, I think okay. that's legit like if you start a baseball season off and you you basically don't even you you walk over to the plate and your helmet's on backwards and you're holding the bat wrong and and you forgot your cup you know yeah. and then the end of the se- in the end of the season you're getting base hits you know then that's that's pretty good you know yeah, like you've, you've improved you know and so yeah. so i think that's a legit one i think i think most valuable player i think that's an important one um and i think yeah. if you win as a team then everybody i think everybody gets like you know a trophy for winning as a team you know like i, I like that i like that yeah. you know but like if you're like you you just kind of you showed up you went out in the outfield and you just chased butterflies the entire time and like the ball always got hit to you. And so you're aware of my little league record. I actually am. Yeah. <laughs> and and you didn't do pretty much anything. Then like, yeah, I, I don't think you should be like, Hey man, congratulations for what? For paying nice. to play on this team. Seriously. Oh, I bought this trophy for you. Thank you. So, no, we didn't have that growing up. We did not have that growing up. So, no, man, nowhere near. Yeah. We had, we had like. Do they have that now? Are there really participation trophies now? No. My kids aren't getting any, but I don't live in a normal yeah. place. This place is. Well, weird. my kids don't do your typical yeah. sports right now, so they're getting. I, I, I think in the next year, yeah. year and a half, Jonas is going to start competing in Taekwondo. I think he has. I think he he'll, he has like an okay. opportunity to start competing. I think so. Does think he want he does. to? And he's getting much better at, at the whole sparring thing. You know, like he's just he's just I don't know. He's coming into his own. I think he's going to be really really good. So we'll see. We're going to see how he does and everything. But I could see him going and actually doing pretty good against some guys. You know, are you becoming increasingly distant so that way he feels like he needs to impress you to earn your love? Because uh, all that's going to make him more competitive oh. in the ring. I mean, you can no, do all man, this. That's like you can horrible. Help him that's called being a bad dad. Yeah, that's, that's called no. I'm loving him. I'm like, you know, I'm with him at class. Like, if I miss a class, I feel bad. You know, I'm like, my bad, dude. You know. Yeah. And so, um, no, nah, man, I, I do everything with him. So, that's, I do think that's important. Are you punching him to? Oh, well, him we up? go back and forth. He punches on me. I punch on him. He kicked me in the groin the other day. I, Is that how you got the bad oh, shoulder? He kicked me in the groin what? the other day again. I just ah, nice. We'll, we'll like just go back and forth, and he's just so much smaller than me. And you know, because I can aim my shots, and I'm gonna hit him like I kind of like in the arm or something like that. And he aims his shot, and he aims yeah. right in the right in the garage. You know, it's just like bam, there it is, man. Yeah. All right, you forgot your cup. I'm going to go throw up real quick. I'll be right back. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's why. You got to give me like 45 minutes. Yeah. Like 45 minutes. I got a bag minutes. of ice. Let me recover. Bag of ice. Bag of, bag of frozen peas or something like that. Come on. Yeah, the frozen peas is what I was thinking. Yeah. You get better coverage. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it works yeah. good. It's like hugging the area. It hugs the area. <laughs> but yeah. But I mean, I'm sure Jonas is going to want to play some other sports so you know when he does we'll see how it goes but if he they start handing out partic- if they if jonas like for example jonas got like like jo- actually jonas and toby both got the same award in preschool but it was like you know the like the uh i can't remember what they called it but it was basically like the you know model student award or something like that and for a kid yeah the good yeah, kid award, good like, kid you award. Know, they pick out one good kid in the class and both jonas and toby got they both got the same exact award. And I was like, man, what? So I nice. think like that kind of stuff is important to to reward, but I don't think just like, hey, you uh showed up. Here you go. So like if Jonas and Toby start doing sports and they're just like, Well, Toby, Jonas, thank you so much for coming. Here's your trophy. I'm like, what's this for? And they go, Well, it's for participation. I'm gonna take that trophy and I'm just gonna throw it at them. Not my kids, at the people, at the people that nice. gave it to them. Like, you take, you take the participation trophy back right now, right now. You should take it and smash it on the ground. And Here's what I think of your participation trophy. Participation. participation is its own reward. Exactly. Okay. You, you, you went out there, you made some friends, 
You sweat it. You got in a little bit of shape. There you go. There's your reward. Physical conditioning. That's your reward. <laughs> Man, you you really know how to motivate a kid. Yeah. <laughs> you got some discipline. You got some exercise. exercise. You got some discipline. You're ready. For exercise and relationships. Next and that way you'll be better next time. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Dave's gotten better at soccer playing that upwards. Upwards is kind of like a everyone gets a prize at the end kind of thing. Oh, yeah. But this oh, yeah. year they just got like a backpack or something like that. So I was like. I'm all right with that. Just don't give him a trophy. If there's a trophy in that backpack, you take the whole thing back. Nah, nah. They don't do trophies. They don't do any of that stuff. They just go out there, play soccer, and go home. That's it. It's pretty fun. Yeah, we might have to get the boys into that soon. Is it like is it on the weekends? Because I ain't going during the week. There was a practice during the week and then a game on the weekend. Yeah. And it's a short season. Yeah. It's like six games or something like that. I feel like I feel Easy like pizza. Jonas would like be too big for all the other kids his age out there. I think he would have run yeah. over all of them. Well, Dave wants to do judo now that soccer's over, so I might I might start playing judo Dude, with him. We'll see. That'll be some good stuff. Judo's good. See about throwing a feller. Dude, ju- judo throws are nasty. They hurt so bad, man. Yeah, that's <sighs> That's almost what it all is, is putting people oh, on the yeah. ground. It's oh, hilarious. yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's 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 fun to do to people. Oh, those, like, hip tosses. Not fun to be done oh, to you. Man, I'm a big dude. <laughs> and when I get, like, thrown, like, when we do the, we have to do the practices. I haven't done any judo throws in a long time. But, dude, those things hurt. Like, there, there's no mm-hmm. way to control your lane on that. You're going straight on your flat on your back. And if, if you try to do anything else, you're going to get hurt worse. You're just going to mm-hmm. have to take get the wind knocked out of you. Take that chance, man. Take that chance. Ugh. You turn you turn the wrong way, you're going to twist something. Yeah. We're looking into it. Sh- That's the only kind of martial arts thingy around here. I actually here, do it, so. man. You do some good stuff. I like martial arts in general. I think it's a good I think it's a good discipline. It, it's done wonders for Jonas. So, yeah. Toby, he's starting to come along a little bit more so, but he he is they're like physically, they're totally different. They're just totally different physically, you know? Toby is just like half the size, yeah. fraction of the size of Jonas. Jonas just shot up really fast. Yeah. So I think Toby's going to be more like face height. Jonas is already face height. Pretty much. Pretty much, man. He's almost Are you serious? Shorter. Like maybe like six inches shorter. Really? Yeah. He's growing fast then. I haven't yeah. seen him in a minute, so he's probably looking like a giant to me yeah. now. Big kid. Oof. Big kid. Looks like a giant to me. He like comes up to my chest, dude. He's like right here at my chest. Okay, yeah. So that's that's pretty Yeah. Tough. For how He's old is gonna he? be nine at the end of the month. He's in the third grade, fourth grade? Third grade, yeah. Okay, so So we gotta go looting. That's what that's what you're telling me. We gotta get ready. Is it looting season? Is there a season for this stuff? I would think that since Christmas is on the horizon, that yeah, you would start looting now so that you could get all the presents, you know, it's at just no like, cost. They're just prepping for the like holiday shopping, holiday looting. Like, do the people plan that around the holidays and everything? I would. I mean, if it was an option, obviously you want to loot when you have more financial uh, responsibilities, like buying everybody presents. So I would also that. think that looting would be more popular during the winter because of the uh, temperature. I would, I would much rather loot uh, yeah. while it's a little cool out than be looting. With it, 95 degrees out, you know, extremely humid and everything. I, I need a nice breeze, a nice breeze when I'm looting. I can wear a bigger jacket if it's cold out and they don't suspect me. And then all of a sudden, ah, oh, we're looting. And I can fill it all up with the iPhone. Exactly, man. Yeah. See? Just stuff them yeah. all in there. I really don't think that's how looting goes. I don't think that they're thinking, we're going to loot this store over here. No, no, no. Skip that one. That one doesn't have the good stuff. Go two stores down. You know, around the corner, and there—that's where the can I, apple store. Can I make an observation? I think we're giving too yeah. much credit yeah. to the looters and their playing and abilities. I really don't think they're doing too much playing. I think it's just kind of like—I think this is really what I think happens. It's like, oh, we got to break something and steal something. Let's do it. That's really what it is. It's like, oh crap, it's happening. That's, I mean, I think looting is like a natural phenomenon that just happens and everybody's yeah. like, oh, take something, yeah. steal something, you know. I would be horrible at it because I would be like, like, 
trying to loot a restaurant. I'm like, oh, can we get this cooked before I take it? You know, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm here to loot some extra crispy chicken tenders. Can I get? Can you can you make that for me I, right I'm now? I'm here to That'd loot a uh, barbecue sandwich. Yeah, can I get that brisket right there? Yeah, yeah, with the extra barbecue sauce on it. Onion rings. Yeah, yeah. You got that? Can you make that for me? All right, I'm just gonna take it. I'm so gonna, essentially, I'm gonna take it and run. I gotta throw a brick. <laughs> I gotta throw a brick through your window real quick. Don't mind me. I gotta justify my stealing yeah. this sandwich. So yeah. yeah, I'm gonna knock over a couple of chairs. Yeah. You guys have a one. It's just you have a wonderful it's day. Personal, you know. <laughs> I'm looting food. Right, thanks so yeah, much. Yeah, that's what I would be doing. I'd be going in a grocery store. I'm like, get the chicken, get the chicken. We gotta eat. We're gonna eat protein. Get some. Get a couple steaks. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, don't get those steaks. Don't. They're just, they're, you got to get a little marble eyes. You know, that's what you want to get. That's a good steak. Okay. <laughs> so everybody else is tearing the place apart. You're strolling through the meat section looking for a really nice, really yeah, nice ribeye. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, uh, you all got any yeah, you porterhouse? Got, you see London broils? I, mean, I could really go for a London broil. You know, oh, just like, yeah, London I'm Sorry. Broils. Sorry, we're all, all right. out of those, sir. I'm like, really? Oh, what kind of what kind of service oh, is this? Man. It's not a service, sir. You're looting. <laughs> this is the last time last I loot Last time this I loot Publix in this area right here. I'll tell you what. Shame on you. Shame. <laughs> yeah. We're shoplifting as a I'm player. Take I my think not. To the Ingles. <laughs> You think you're gonna... I love that you're going to yeah, loot, for, loot food. for food. <laughs> like I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go looting. Like everybody else is gonna be taking everything, like just grinding random stuff, and I'm gonna be there with a grocery list. Uh we're gonna need some yeah. chicken broth and we're gonna need some rice and uh, we need is that some barbecue <laughs> sauce and don't forget some bread and peanut butter and jelly. Okay. Well we're gonna need some eggs, guys. Get some eggs. Alright, make sure the eggs aren't cracked or broken. Yeah, right. I think it's really important in a looting scenario. I think you misunderstand looting, especially when you take your cart and you try and yeah. pay for it all. <laughs> You're like, yes, oh, I'm here no, with no, the no, looters. No. Like, I'm not going to pay for anything. The cops are coming. No, no, I'm going to get my grocery and then I'm going to just run right through the front door with it. I'm not even going to... Yeah. Like you're on Guy's Grocery I mean, Games. Yeah, There's I'm just going to run, run through the place yeah! with the cart. Live long and loot on. That's you what I'm gonna say about people looting grocery you don't, stores. You don't, but it makes so. You should. No. You should. I got a deep freezer, man. I can freeze it yeah. all. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, I'm running out of, I'm running out of, I'm running out of Publix with like a grocery grocery cart full of like chicken breasts and everything, and I'm all like, just buy one, get one, buy one, get one, and I just took it all, you know. <laughs> Why are you looting chicken breast? Loot the well, steak. I, get, I mean, I like chicken too, <laughs> like, and I like no, steak. You no. know, I mean, I like to I like to mix it up during the week. You know, so I got to get a little bit of everything. Well, here's the thing: if you eat steak every day, that's good. That's great for the first two days. But once you get to the third day, you're thinking it's it's starting yeah, yeah, to get it's pretty like, heavy. It's though. like a big old meatball in your stomach. Not not like a not like a meatball, right. yeah, <laughs> like a spaghetti and meatball, but like a giant yeah. ball of meat. Sitting in your stomach and you don't know what, yeah. if it'll ever come out, and you're not too sure which end it's going to come out. <laughs> so, so it's it's wise to get different types of meat. So, but you want to get the protein. Go for the protein. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. So, so are we, you think? Ridiculous. Are you predicting? I don't think. I don't think any of this is going to work. It won't. It doesn't sound like it's. It doesn't sound functional. This isn't gonna for work. what. There's no way. One, I've never heard of somebody looting a grocery store. Well, but because... I think both of us are primarily interested now in looting a grocery store, if that is the situation. Well, we're see, I'm going to a, I'm we're, going we're to a traditional thinking, super, a grocery store, too. I'm not going to, like, a, a super Walmart, either, because I don't want to be around those guys for the, going for the yeah, electronics. Yeah, the meats, aren't, and the meats aren't nowhere near as good. So I'm going to, like, a traditional grocery store. Yeah. You know, even if I got a... Even if I got a right. Really, you want to go to a butcher Ooh, shop. There we go. That's what you got to yeah, do. You, you, yeah. You know what? While I'm at Publix, I think I might get some shrimp while I'm there, too. You know? And some lobsters. I just, just going to get a cart full of lobster. You got to boil them all up tonight. Make sure you get some butter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ben, Ben, get some butter. I'm going to take all these lobsters. 
Make sure they have the rubber bands on their claws, okay? It's really important. I got that, like, you know how they got that, like, that, like, little rake, that little wooden rake thing that you got to stick in there to get the lobster out and everything? I'm all like, come on, we can't get yeah. these lobsters out. Yeah. <laughs> Take them. <laughs> get it. If you're, if you're looting a Publix, do you think that the employees will help you with your cart? You know, uh, yeah, I think, I think they would take it. Yeah, I'm like, all right, come on. I'm, they're not going to accept the tip. They can't. They're not allowed to. They're not going to take it. You're not tip. allowed to accept the tip, even if I'm right, looting right. it. Like, I'll be like, I, I, here's the deal. Even if you're looting, no <laughs> they, tip. Don't even, they don't even get a choice to say, I'm looting you too. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Uh, come push on. my cart. Come on. <laughs> this is the funny thing. Every when I go to Publix, because I I will go to like Publix, Aldi's, and Walmart. Those are three. But like, if we want like really good meat, we're gonna go to yeah. Publix. So when I go to Publix and yeah. um, I get stuff that I can only get there, and they're like, "Sir, would you uh, would you like us to help you to your car?" And I'm like, "No, man, I don't need no help to my car." But if I'm looting, I'm getting some help to my car. I'm like, "Yeah, you, yeah, you, 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 and you. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, you're my entourage. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stand." So yeah. you got like you push four this dudes car. with I'm gonna, you. Each of you guys stand grab a car. Front of it like go. a big kid. <laughs> you know why you push it? <laughs> yeah, it's me right over the little Mazda three. Yeah. No, not the. No. Oh crap! Someone turned it upside down. Dang it! Mm. Oh no! So are you predicting uh, riots and looting oh. going happening? No, I don't think any of that will happen. I think that the protests are. I'm pretty sure that they're already starting to die down. That people are starting to, you know, go back to work. <laughs> it's like school started back up. I all I used up all my vacation days, so I can't protest anymore. Well, they were they were real on. protesters. They would they would just quit their jobs, right? They really believed. Do you, they're not true believers? I don't know. And I'll just say this: if you're if you're a pastor and you're protesting, man, sh- shut up. Can I just say that? Just sh- shut The up. only protesting you should be doing is against the Catholic Church. Protestants, Protestants unite! <laughs> no, I, it, honestly. Next year, 2017, 500 years of protesting. I still protest. I was bad-mouthing Catholics tonight at church like a champ. <laughs> you're so mean. Yeah. I, if you're a pastor. I am. I am. It was you got funny, time though. for protesting? So, like, uh, Who has time for this? Don't these guys have like to put their Man, kids I was to bed thinking and stuff? That, like I don't have time for like I I had I don't have time this week. Listen, listen. I had this week had I had let's see Monday. Wait, what was yeah Monday? I had counseling sessions. I had staff meeting. I had to write. Then you know going on with the rest of the week. I had had an elders meeting that night. I had a premarital thing that mm-hmm. night before the elders meeting. After the elders meeting, I had. Guys night out Tuesday. I'm writing a sermon all day, meeting with people and everything. And then I got I got a sick kid in the house and everything. He ain't feeling well, so I got a wife who doesn't yeah. feel well, and she's got trying to do the second job and everything. And then you know, today's Wednesday, and I'm like you know behind on everything. I'm supposed to go visit somebody sick there nice. that, that is like uh in, in sick, and and I, that got canceled. I ended up going hanging out with a. a having lunch with another guy in, in, in that place. But then I had to go, I had to, had to buy a refrigerator for the church too, because our church, ours is done. And you know, I'm like, and I'm trying to get all this stuff done. I'm yeah. trying to get all my regular stuff done. I'm at, and I'm trying to order these chairs. I'm just like, how in the world yep. y'all got time to protest? Because I am just, I am exhausted <laughs> by just doing my job. <laughs> Isn't just regular life enough? That why do you got to create more drama? Regular life is dramatic enough. The ins and outs of everyday yeah. living are enough to keep you running all the time if you're paying attention. You might want to stop <laughs> while we're ahead. There's, there's no, there's, there's no way this yeah. can end up well. There's no, there's no possible way for it to. 